What's up everybody, B Mason, built by B Mason. Look, today is part three of the Titleist Tour Model Restoration. We got the heads back, they've been copper plated, they've been nickel plated, but have you ever wondered how they get that two-tone finish, that contrast on the face? Well, today we're gonna spray some faces, part three of the Titleist Tour Model Restoration Series. Bam, let's get into it, roll that intro. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna waste any time. First up, you need some masking tape, or you can use blue painter's tape. Needs, I use Gorilla tape, Gorilla duct tape. You can use whatever you wanna use. I found that this worked the best for me, Gorilla duct tape. Then you're gonna need some good scissors. These okay, they're not the greatest, but they'll get the job done. Then you need your head, bam. We're gonna start off with the two. That's what we're using. So, all you do, first thing first, you take the Gorilla Tape and you tear it. That look about good enough right there. You tear two of these, cause you're gonna need two. Cause you need, you need four straight edges. So that's why you need two of these cause you're gonna tear this in half. So that's done. That's done for now. Now, first thing you wanna do, you wanna tear the first piece off really tiny because you're going to have to put it right here. So I, I like the light. That looked about good to me right there. Bam. So I use this straight edge right here. And all I do is take it. And I know where I want to mark it at, which is right up against the scoring lines. And I tape it like so. Right up on the scoring lines. I always double check, make sure it's straight. Because once you do this, Ain't no turning back. Well, it's, you can always turn back, but it's gonna cost you some money, and you don't <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> so take your time, do it right the first time, and you won't have to worry about it. Like my like my dad used to say, "Do it right, do it light. Do it wrong, do it long." He used to say that when I was cutting the grass. It's funny how that that old that old stuff come in handy when you get older. All right, you take the second piece and you tie a little off of it like that. Now, you use this straight edge to get this side. Line it up where you want it. Drop it down. Look at it, double check. Make sure that it's not, make sure your line is not crooked. If you're following the scoring line, you just gotta make sure it's lined up. You gotta make sure it's lined up and following the scoring lines. Then you take it and you just fold it over. Don't try to push it that way. Make sure this, this top line stays straight. Sometimes people like to uh, media blast these as well, but the top line on this so thin, it's not even worth it. I love thin top lines. That's amazing looking. But anyway, so you go, you start just, you know, just taping, pull the tape around, and then that's it. I like to just close that down sometime, just like that. I take it, rub my hand against the straight edge, and then with the tape that's left over, well, sorry, let's do our other two straight edges. So for the next one, you just tie this straight down the middle. I got a straight edge right there. Where I want to put this straight edge is at the bottom right here on the sole of the club. So I put it on the sole. Bam. So I'm, so I'm putting that on the sole. Making sure it's all lined up. Pull it back up if you need to and start over. If it's not looking straight, you want it right up against the edge of that club. You don't want a media blast, nothing that you don't have to, so. So then you just take that, all that look good, and you just fold that over, bam, 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 bam. And then the other straight edge, you take it, you put, you have to tie this one sometime. 
tear a little bit off. Take this straight edge and you put it on the top line. Bam. This is by far the most tedious part. Spraying it is fairly easy once you got the machine set up and running. But this is by far the most time consuming and tedious. A lot of times, I'll sit down and watch TV and do this. But since I'm doing a video, I can't do that. So, this extra right here, you just take that, seal that off, that way it ain't in your way later. Now, for the rest, you just use the rest of the tape you have left, and you just start covering up everywhere well, you see, crump, well, nickel, cause I have, I gotta get these chrome. I haven't got them chrome yet. So cover up very well where you see nickel. And you just use, use the extra tape that you have first. And then once that's gone, you pretty much got all your, your edges locked off and looking good. You can just take cheap painter's tape or masking tape and you can uh, tape off the rest. Don't, nothing has to be pretty about this. Just make sure you covering everything up. Like I say, tank, the tank is nasty. <laughs> Stuff flying, particles flying everywhere. So you just wanna make sure that you cover everything up that you don't wanna hit. And that's it. So what now I'm gonna do is I think I am gonna watch TV. So I'm gonna go upstairs and do the rest of these and watch TV. And then I'll come back and finish the rest off. So that's that. So an hour later, I'm back. So now we get to spray them. Probably what most of y'all wanna see anyway. I'm gonna share a secret with y'all cause I found it out the hard way, but uh, an old school club maker told me how to do it to really make sure that this stand, when I blast his face to make sure it stand up, that's why I haven't chromed them yet. So my goal, so what I did was I, I sent them off, they got a copper plate on them and they got a nickel. Now I'm gonna blast the nickel, basically dulling the nickel. And, uh, and then once I do that, then I send them back and they'll put the chrome on top of that. That's how he told me to do it. That's what I had good success doing. Like I say, this is a full restoration. Sometimes people just get their clubs uh, raw and then they come back, they polish them up and then they just uh, they just blast the face. And in that case, you gotta clean it. You gotta clean them all the time. So yeah, so this is what we got. We done with this. We're gonna move on to the tank. This is my tank. I decided that I'm not gonna actually do like a full like, walk around about this tank and stuff like that because that's a whole video and I'm trying to keep these videos short and to the point. So I could do a whole video just on how I made this alone. So if that's something y'all interested in, hit me up in the comments, tell me that what y'all want to see and I'll make it. But uh, as of right now, we're just going to keep this whole restoration process going. So uh, I'm going to throw the heads in here. For this, I'm actually using a blend that I put together. I'm using a uh, glass beads, uh, 80 grit. I'm using this stuff called Classic Cut. I don't even think you can buy this out of the store. <clears throat> called Classic Cut. I'm using that. And then I'm using uh, uh, some fine grain walnut. So that should give me more of that brighter finish. Uh, so you, you got to get to see. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna pull this right up on here. So you guys can see in the tank, see what's going on. All right. Okay, y'all, so let me show you what I got going on. I actually sealed this whole tank up. Uh, it, sometimes it leaks very so slightly, but not for real. Uh, I got roofing caulk, and on top of the roofing caulk, I have this silver tape. I added two flood lights. Uh, I, got my, I got my gun right here. Then I got just a little aspirator. That way I can spray this off before I uh, take it out so none of the stuff fall out. 
So I'm gonna put a little bit more of my secret ingredient media in here and then uh, we'll, be, we'll throw the heads in there and then we'll be ready to blast. All right, y'all, I got my N95 mask on, so it's gonna sound a little bit muffled, but uh, hopefully you'll better hear me once I get all these machines and uh, air compressors and ventilation going, so we'll see. Fresh out the tank. Bam. First one. Nice and nice and dull. The real test is when the real test is when I pull this off. Y'all see the contrast, but I'll do that back over there. I just wanted to show show them to you coming fresh out the tank. That's pretty freaking beautiful considering the fact that I built this tank. Considering the fact that I built this tank. Well, the guts of this tank is based off a of Harbor Freight's tank, you know. It is souped up though, but it's still a Harbor Freight's tank. So I'm gonna take all these out and then we'll go over there. All right, y'all. So, a lot of times when you spray these, uh, when you spray these things, it's easy, um, it's easy for them to get scratched up really quick. So I just go ahead and plastic bags on standby. So as soon as I take them out, I wipe them down, put them in a the plastic bag. So we're just gonna unwrap one so you guys can actually see. This is the fun part. Pull this off. I'm gonna flip it over so you can actually see it. Pull it off, then you pull it down, and voila, like magic, like it's fresh out the, fresh out the Titleist factory. Get this other side, pull it down, bam, voila. And that, my friends, is a club. This was the six iron. So now, all I do now is I get a clean microfiber. I wipe it down. And I immediately put it in a plastic bag. Get ready to ship them to get that last coat on it, which will be the chrome. And, uh... So by the time part four come out, we'll have them back. They'll have a the chrome on them, and then we'll be ready to start putting them together. I got some Project X, uh, some Project X shafts. And uh, I'm gonna make these very classic. So bam. Pull, pull my little Put them a little tape. Bing. Fold it over. We done. So I do this to all of them. And then get ready to ship them out. And that's how this process goes, folks. All right, everybody. That's it for part three of the Titleist Tour Model Restoration video. Uh, you guys know the drill. We want to help me out, man. Like this video, subscribe, share, ring the bell so you can get the notification when part four come out. And, uh, and I'll just keep doing it. Ask me questions in the comments. You got certain videos you wanna see. Uh, you want more detail about something that I do. Just hit me up in the comments. I'll reply back or make a video. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's about it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, like I say, I'm all self-taught. 
everything that I know right now, I taught myself or I harassed people until they told me. Uh, I called people out the blind. I didn't call the like notable club makers just out the blue and got in touch with them and like, you know, I get knowledge here, get knowledge there, and I, I form my own style. And uh, yeah, so that's what I do. I hope y'all enjoy the content. Uh, hope the new camera working good. Hope the new mic working good. The video is gonna slow down a little bit because I'm moving into a new place and uh, I'm gonna be moving my shop into the backyard into a, I don't know if I wanna call it a barn or what, but yeah. So my shop gonna have its own standalone area, which is good. I'm excited about that. But uh, yeah, so y'all stay tuned. B Mason, Built by B Mason. I'll holler at y'all later. Follow me on Instagram too, Built by B Mason. All right.